Okay, folks, so we are headed to Madrid. I didn't get a chance to come on earlier. Flying with a friend, first time flying with her. We went to training together. I'll tell you all about it later, but just wanted to come on really quickly to say hello and let you know where we were going. So I'll holler at you in a bit. Okay, so we've made it to Madrid. Madrid is one of my, I don't want to say Madrid, but Spain. I love Spain in general. Barcelona specifically is one of my favorites. Again, I'm flying with a friend on this trip. It is, what time is it? 8.23 in the morning, Madrid time. And we are gonna go downstairs to grab breakfast really quickly, come back to the room, sleep for a bit, and then hit the street. This is cool. I think it's Plaza de Mayo or something. We've all seen these videos, right? Well, this essentially happened to us earlier in the day. It was the funniest thing and I'm so upset I wasn't recording at the time. having drinks with the crew, two pilots, and a couple of the crew members, myself and my friend Lacey, and one of the other girls. We're gonna go to like a rooftop bar somewhere. When you fly with friends, it makes it so much better. Sorry for the music in the background. I'm gonna cut it off now because I don't want copyright. I didn't get too much footage just because I was just having just a good time kikiing, talking with, you know, my girlfriend. Uh, but anyway, I will be back at another point in the day. She loves your hair, girl. Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, it's extension. Oh, it's extension. No, it's extension. I did it. Very good. Very good. Very thank good. you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Queen of Duchess. I love flying. I love my job. I love people. I love flying. I love my job. I love people. <laughs> So every time that they piss me off and ask me for a coke when I'm sweating and having a hard time so as to be so. in a galley, they're like, can I have a coke? Do it look like you can have a coke? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do it look like I have a coke handy? A coke and a smile. The other day I was flying A and it was 20 people up front and out of the 20 people, 13 asked for a variation of Diet Coke or Coke Zero. So I'm in Primark.
park shopping for my nieces and nephews. I have two nieces, two nephews. And there's mostly girl stuff, which is fun. The boys are always boring, sorry. The first thing like Grazi. <laughs> Grazi. Where are you? Right. Oh my god. Gracias. At, at one point she was like, wait, that's Italian. <laughs> the market, Mercado, San Miguel. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, I tried, you know. <laughs> Did you go? Did you go? Gracias. Mucho, 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 gracias. Find something for my mother. I don't even know what to do. Look at your mom, nothing. Oh. I mean the tonic so I can do it your Okay, so I'm just making it back to my room. It is almost one in the morning. It's twelve forty-six AM. It was a good day, just slow, relaxed, good vibes. A bunch of stuff from Primark. This is all I got today was this ring. How cute is this? That's all I got for myself. Gonna shower, wash my hair, get in the bed, go to sleep because tomorrow we have an 8.30 a.m. pickup. See you in the morning, hopefully, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Good morning, good day, how are you? Um, so today is go home day, it's Sunday. It's Mother's Day actually, so happy Mother's Day to all of the moms out there. Um, whether you have a child, you are a parent-like figure to someone, dog mom, pet mom, whatever. Happy Mother's Day to you. Currently 7.09 a.m. I've been up since 5 a.m. this morning. I woke up and just have not been able to go back to sleep. Um, so yeah, I guess that's a part of the jet lag and all that stuff that happens. But anyway, we're just gonna get the day started. Um, I am working galley today. The responsibility of the galley person, it's kind of a big responsibility and it's nothing major. Once you know what you're doing, you're fine. But it can be intimidating. It can be a lot for new hires or someone who just doesn't do it because sometimes the pursers can be jerks, just to be honest and be real. They can, not all of them, but they can be and have a reputation of not really being helpful and sometimes being mean, unfortunately. Um, and it, when you first come on the line, when you first become a flight attendant, a lot of flight attendants, they steer away from TOs, transoceanics, because of that very reason. And you shouldn't let that be a reason why you don't pick up those trips or try to swap into them because of fear of the galley. It's ridiculous. Once you master it, once you learn it, you're good. But you have to, it's something you have to consistently do or do several times before you're really comfortable with the different aircrafts because different aircrafts your things the stuff for your galley your supplies are in different spots it should be in the same spot on the same aircraft type but if you're on a 76 one day and a whatever something the other day the galley configuration is different so your stuff is going to be in a different spot hope that made sense so you just have to be familiar with your aircraft and the galley and where everything is and once you're sure of that and knowing where stuff is, you know what needs to be done, what needs to be where, and you just know what you're doing. But you need to do it a few times to be comfortable. And when I mean by a few times, I don't mean like once this year, once four years from now, you know, because that things change um, for the most part. And um, 
You just forget things. You forget you don't, your comfortability. Is that a word? Yes, your comfortability changes, right? When you feel familiar, you know what you're doing. When you knock it out, boom, boom, boom. But when you're not, you're kind of like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. So that's something I would suggest. If you're a new hire or even not a new hire, do the galley. You have to just jump in. So for me, um, I haven't been galley in a really long time. A really long time. I've shared with you that I've the positions that I've worked on Transoceanics, which are mostly working in the first class cabin where I'm serving the passengers. I like that position. And then others where I'm in the back and uh, main cabin. But again, working the actual galley, I haven't done that in a really long time. Um, so we gonna see. I'm, I have to be thrown into it like anybody else. And you know, I told my person already. I made him aware that look, I don't do galley. Haven't done it in a really long time. I'm here. I'm willing to learn. Etc. Etc. And he was, you know, you, you know, thank you for letting me know. At least you were honest. Because some people go on the galley and they're like, no, I know what I'm doing because they're scared to say. Not everyone. Some people do. They're scared to say, and um, you know, they're not being set up for success. So we're gonna see how it goes. Um, because I feel like the galley position. Once I feel like I've mastered it, um, I feel like I would like it. I feel like. Um, I would enjoy it more than being in the aisle. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I definitely need to do it, want to do it. I don't want to do it this trip, but um, I am. <laughs> and it's about time because I've done several teals at this point and for whatever reason just haven't ended up with Galley. So, but this one we did. So we gonna see, we gonna see, we gonna see. Other than that, my little room was really cool. I'm flying with a friend. We met in training, we met before training, a little bit before training, but we officially met in person and all that once we got to training and we were neighbors um, in the training center because my class was fortunate enough, my lips look so dry, was to be in the training center. So we were next door neighbors. So, you know, we just became really close, really cool. We talk basically every day, for the most part, every other day, at least throughout the week consistently since training. Um, and you know, she's just a good good girl, good friend. And this is the first time we've gotten to fly together after all this time, which is crazy. It was really cool to finally fly with her. And you know, just have a kiki, reminisce, crack jokes, go through pictures from when we were in training. But yeah, she just finished purser training. So really excited for her. So she's able to have, get all these purser trips. So she's getting a bunch of purser trips now. So happy for her. She was on this trip already. And I preference a bunch of stuff for my eight days. And just so happened to get this. I didn't put this, I didn't put the, the trips that I preference in any particular order. Um, of like most wanted to least wanted. I just put them all together. And I got this one. And you know, that I'd be knowing it worked out. Because again, I did not specifically say give me Madrid only. I put a bunch of stuff. I didn't really care where I was going. You know I just wanted to tee up, right? <laughs> so the fact that I got this one's pretty dope. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Um, and yeah, once again, happy Mother's Day to all of us.